You know, when you think about it, life is really a game of chase. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it really is slavery when you think about all the things that we have to do uh, to get through another day. Uh, you know, I'm talking about trying to cope and things that we do to entertain ourselves, things that we do to satisfy ourselves in the moment. I mean, just really think about it. Like all the shit that we do that we enjoy is to cope. That's it. You know, it. we enjoy it because it's pain mitigation. You know, it takes away from the uh, the negative state, which is the normal state, really, of boredom. It takes away the uh, the pain. You know, that's why people drink. They do drugs. They are, you know, some people are sex addicts. Some people, uh, you know, they, they, they do anything that they can to get through another moment of the day. And that just shows you how really messed up this whole system is, right? Because we're all going along in this big ass circle of chase the mouse, you know, and the mouse is, you know, whatever pleasure, whatever thing that uh, takes the pain away from you for a moment. That's pretty much what it's all about. You're chasing that thing, that temporal fix. You know, you're, you're looking for that next high. You're looking for that next uh, satisfying meal. You're looking for that next amazing orgasm. You're looking for that next anything to make you not present, <laughs> you know, to kind of take you away from the moment. Because when you think about it, that's all that this is about. The predicament of humanity is pain, is suffering, is so intrinsic that it motivates us to do things and to be addicted to things and to uh, just go around this treadmill of never being satisfied. You know, that's why when you eat one meal, it's never enough. You have to constantly go back. You have to constantly go back to that thing that made you feel good for a second because it always wears off. We're chasing these endorphins. We're chasing these happy chemicals inside our heads. And we can never get enough because life is designed like that. Life is stress. Life is suffering. Life is pain. And when you take away those distractions, you are left with the grim reality of our situation. That's why people uh, gravitate toward extremes. You know, that's why it, it never, it's never enough. It's just never enough. One thing leads to another thing leads to another. There are some people who go so far as to do violent crimes because they get a thrill of it. And why do they find that satisfying? It's because they're also in pain. They're also suffering. But their suffering has led them to do violent actions to gratify themselves. And it's such a sick game. It really is a sick game. You know, all of this is just about getting off as much as you can so that you don't have to deal with the reality that's really staring us all in the face. And, it's, and it sucks. And, you know, it bothers me that people will recognize this. They will recognize that life is just a rat race, you know, that you're always going to be on that chase for that next high. Whatever that high is for you, you're always going to be chasing it. And you're not going to get off that roller coaster. Because life almost demands that you chase those things. Because if you don't, you're going to be fucked up. You're going to be miserable. You're going to be horribly depressed. You're going to be, uh, you're going to feel just terrible. Because that's pretty much what all of this is, you know? Pain mitigation. But what gets me is that people know this stuff about life. And then they just go ahead and give it to their kids. You know, they complain about having needs and wants and having to do things 
and having to do it over and over and over again. But for whatever reason, they think that their kids are going to like it. You know, we hate it, but maybe our kids are going to enjoy this, this slavery because that's really what it is down here. Everything in this biological hell is subjected to physical slavery, whether it knows it or not. Every human is enslaved, whether they realize it or not, because that's what life on this planet entails. So when they have a child, when they choose to have children, they're just pushing that slavery onto their child. And really, I can take it a step further. Some people know this stuff and they talk a good game. I can tell you how many people that I've spoken to and they thoroughly know that life is suffering start to end. They thoroughly know it. But these same people who will even agree with me, I constantly see them in conversations where they're saying, yeah, but, you know, I might have a kid. Yeah, I might. I might, you know, have a child or two. I don't know. I might change my mind. What the fuck? What the fuck? Like, you know all the risk. You know every detail of the suffering happening, and you're still going to consider that? You're still going to try and impose that? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you do that? That should be criminal. You know you're playing with a loaded gun, and you know all the dangers, and you're going to pull the trigger anyway? You selfish fuck. That's why I take it for granted. When people tell me that, oh, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I'm not going to have any kids. I just think to myself, yeah, okay, we'll see how long this lasts. Because humans are fickle. Even when they know better, they're going to do the opposite of that. You I mean, it's just the human nature, man. It's so fucked up. People know that this is just a grind. Slavery and grinding for nothing. And they're still considering it. They would even consider it. I can count on my hand how many times people who said they're not going to have kids because of whatever reason. I think out of all of them, there might have been two or three that actually meant it and who are consistent, who I look at their conversations and they are consistent about their their newfound uh, commitment not to impose this game onto a child. But then there are others who just, you can give them all the proof in the world that life is hell and they'll do it anyway. Or they'll even say that they're considering it anyway. It just goes to show you how fucked up the human condition is and how uh, horrible the biological drive is that even in people who know better, it still somehow triggers them to want to impose this shit. It's like a curse that is just so hard to break that only a handful of humans will ever succeed in doing it. It really, it really is a curse. You know, because people, even when they know the knowledge, they never break out of it. They still get trapped. Their commitment is never strong enough to say with absolute resound, no, I'm not going to put my kid through this because this shit is slavery. And it is. So what can you do? You know, it's just it's just this constant rat race that we're in. You know, we don't have a choice in the matter. We got to do something to get through this life because the shit is terrible. But God damn it. If you know that. Please don't put that on your kids. 